we want to add a line just for a little more interest into this third column. Select the column, uh, go into Borders and Shading, either through the icon or through Page Layout, Borders and Shading. And it does need to be on Borders, not Page Border. The second one is the one we want. Take it off of the top, the bottom, and the right side. And then go into Options and make it a 10 point. Click OK and OK. Then with our insertion point, uh, after that second paragraph, we're going to insert a text box. Alphabetic quote is the one we want. We have um, the text that's in there highlighted, and we're just going to copy and paste from, let's see, this is in the second paragraph where it says RSIs are the largest job-related injury copy it and then we're going to paste it in here when this little um, smart tip comes up we're going to match destination formatting keep source formatting oops match destination I'm sorry We don't have the same option as with the last one, but that looks pretty good. And then we're going to kind of adjust um, the text. Um, we want to make it that darker color, that dark red color we've been using. Make, make it a bold. And then we're going to just stretch this box out. The box is actually going to go between the two columns. So kind of between that first and second column. Let's see if I can get a hold of it again. And just adjust it until it kind of fits the space and we're filling up the page here. Whoops, so see that went to the next page. That was a little too big. There we go.